Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey, and there's Tim over there. We are headed to grocery stores to do uh, grocery shopping, and we thought we would just show you what we're getting. Uh, we're doing going to do like a grocery haul video, and we'll show you at the end what what all that stuff is. But uh, that's what we're doing today. So uh, we'll bring you along. Let's go. We were in Costco. Uh, we're about to go to the food, but I need spray air for my classroom when I have a, a purchase order for this Costco where I can just get stuff as I need it. So uh, that's what we're on hunt for. And then we're gonna do some food. All right, let's go. Okay, an update on the spray air. They don't carry it anymore. So uh, that's it. Um, this was the best place to get spray air. It was really cheap. Uh, and now I have to get it like on CDWG or Office Depot or something. So. That's it. All right, on to the food. We're trying to get our shopping done. The store closes in 15 minutes, and I've spent the last 20 minutes talking to parents, to people who run uh, some of the groups at school. Like, I ran into so many people at this Costco. It's crazy. Uh, so we haven't gotten to the food yet. So it's a quarter to six. They're going to close. We still got, like, you know, like, tofu and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, this looks interesting. This is the, the tomb garlic dip spread. Um, it is vegan, if you look at it. Uh, is the V, but I mean, the main ingredient is uh, pressed canola oil. And it's uh, 80 calories for one tablespoon. I'm sure it's absolutely delicious, but that's staying there. All right, this is the best deal on tofu right here. It's $6.99 for a block of these. We're gonna get two of these because we make four at a time, all right? So that's like, you can't beat that price anywhere. All right, let's go. All right, these over here, these smoothie packs, these are a great deal. These are a bag with four little packages inside them, and they're 100 calories each, and it's just some frozen fruit. That's all it is. And it's uh, $11.99 for a four pack. So these are really a good deal. It has right. a little bit of kale in it. Oh, oh, yeah, it does have some kale in it. All right, let's see what else we need. You know, we are going to need these strawberries because yep. we only have like half a bag left. So let's grab those. All right. Strawberries low in sugar. Yes, they're barely low. So let's go. All right, it's time for sprouts. We got to bring in our reusable bags. They charge you for bags now, and they're they're much thicker so they can be reused. So we got three of them here. And we got, yeah, let's throw this in there. All right, so we're all set. Let's go get some produce. All right, another cool thing. This is how we buy spices. I don't need any spices this week, but this is how we buy them. Check this out. This is the bulk spike section. So you just go over here and find the spice that you want, right? Here's uh, Cajun seasoning or cardamom or something like, you know, that everyone uses, like chili powder, right? So chili powder, it's $1.54 an ounce. And so you just open up this thing and you pour it into these little bags right here. And then you write the number on it and it comes out to, you can fill the bag up, it comes out to just a few cents. So, and they, they've got all of them. And the other thing is they're all organic. So it's kind of a really good deal. I love that I can buy just the amount of spice that I need and it's all organic. And I can also bring my bottle in here. I don't need any spices this week, but I'll bring my bottle in there and they'll weigh it at the register, they'll weigh my empty bottle and then I'll, I can fill it up and then they'll weigh it again and they'll just charge me for the difference. Uh, and I don't have to use one of those bags. So. If you get a chance to do that at Sprouts, that's a lot of fun. Okay, I wanna show you something. I showed this in a video like five years ago, uh, but this entire dairy section uh, has been split up into uh, non-dairy and dairy. It's an entire section of vegan products now. Let me show you. So you can see it still has the cow up there, Farm Fresh Natural Dairy, except everything here, all of it, is all plant-based. This entire cooler is plant-based. Like, this is quite the option. Just look at the yogurt section up here. Plants baked yogurt start at that shelf, they go all the way down here, and it's every shelf on this cooler. Like every shelf is a different plant-based yogurt. 
those are all plant-based, right? And if you look at the milks over here, this this cooler, this cooler, and that cooler, they're all plant-based milks, and there's a huge selection. So, I mean, this is kind of a really cool option here that Sprouts has so many non-dairy products uh, in their dairy section, like this whole wall is non-dairy. Uh, I mean, there's just as much non-dairy milk here as there is in the dairy milk. The same thing with the yogurt. So there's so many choices here, right? I absolutely love seeing this. And then here's the tofu that we bought at Costco where we're at Sprout. It's two of these for $7. And I think we got, for not much more, even, I don't even know if it was that much, we got four of them at Costco for about the same price. So Costco's a good deal on this. All right, Sprouts also has like four or five aisles of all this bulk stuff here. For instance, I need chickpea flour today. So I can come down here uh, and go down to chickpea flour, and there it is right there at $3.99 uh, for a pound. I'm gonna see if I can find it in the aisles organic, because this one's not organic. This coconut flour is organic, but this chickpea flour is not. So, and I don't, I mean, I don't trust it. So, but I mean, really great options for, uh, you know, for all of your bulk needs. They've got this whole side of the aisle, then they've got this whole side also, right? And there's another two aisles behind me and one in front of me uh, with all their bulk foods. Everything from protein powder to gummies to nuts and seeds. Like, you buy just what you need. Uh, here you can buy dried chickpeas right here uh, by the pound. And we're loading up our uh, car from Sprouts. And yes, we drive a Toyota. I'm not a high car penna. <laughs> all right, on to Whole Foods. All right, we just left Whole Foods. I didn't get any footage in there. I don't know why. Uh, but. Now we're here at the grocery store Fry's. It's a kind of like Kroger, it's the same company. And we've got stuff to get here. Let's get in there and see what we need. All right, looks like we got some pretzel hot dog rolls for Lex. And we got those vegan smart hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. All right, so we're gonna get these Morningstar uh, Farms uh, veggie chicken strips. It's 24 grams of protein uh, for 140 calories, right? Turn it around for a second so you can see the other side for 140 calories and you get like, is it 13 strips uh, for that? So you get a lot for that, right? For a stir fry for a salad. All right, you do so that's what we're gonna do. All right, Tim, what have you found here? Garbanzo beans, we need them. All right, so these are Simply Truth, this Simply, or what are they called? Simple Truth Organic. Yeah. And they're 10 for $10. Bonus. At 10 for $10, a dollar a can, we like can't pass that up, so. Let's move on. Well, let me start by saying this is always odd to do. <laughs> okay. Look at what I grew up. Yeah. But I know it's a thing. People yeah. actually feel inspired and they know what to get. Um, and they're curious. So let's do this. Yeah, but, and people learn about some of the things you get. So let's, okay. I'm going to start on this end. We just kind of laid everything out. I'll tell you where we got it from. So from Costco, we get these yakisoba noodles. Derek Simnit did a high protein meal with these. He took one of these and then proteined it up, right? Yeah. Uh, we don't eat these. These are for Lex, but it's 410 calories for one bag of uh, noodles, right? And it's not a big uh, bag. But here's what Lex does, what I do with Lex. Lex likes these with the noodles, right? The one, Two bags. Yeah, well, two bags, right? Well, he's a teenager. Uh, and then I just put in like a half a block of tofu, my salt and pepper tofu in there, yeah. and mix it up. He loves these with tofu. Yeah, the salt and pepper tofu we make for the week. Right. Uh, there's four blocks, so half a block of that goes with this and he, and he likes that. So. And we're gonna meal prep tomorrow, but we would, this is a box of four blocks of tofu. Yeah. And I do that all in one shot. Like I just, I cook them all in one shot into little cubes and throw them in a big mixing bowl with, uh, with a cover on it, let's sit in the fridge. And like, I'll just eat that right out of the bowl, cold. I'll yeah. take it for work. It, we put them in here. We go through four blocks of tofu every week now. Um, and it's, it's literally gone by Thursday. Like. It, we, it doesn't even last till Saturday. Yeah, it's loaded with calcium and other good things, so. Uh, so you saw that we got, when I did the video in the store, four packs of uh, smoothie packs. These are nice, because it's a bunch of berries, right? Uh, it's 100 calories, and that little pack takes up the whole blender, right? If you're tracking, it's got a scan code on it. It's easy, perfect, easy. right. Uh, strawberries are, you know, when you throw 100 grams of banana into a smoothie, you get like almost 100 calories, right? It's like 90 calories. When you throw 140 grams of strawberries in the smoothie, it's 50 calories, yeah, yeah. right? They are really low in calories, which we just loved. 
Um, we, we've got some unsweetened apple applesauce. We always have that for recipes and all that. So that's there. For bacon. Uh, we have basil for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Um, for pasta bacon I'm doing this oh. week. So we get more. If I buy the plant, I don't yeah. get as much. So. And we are going to do, uh, uh, when we do the meal prep this weekend, we're going to do the uh, bolognese. Exactly. I like to have basil with Italian yes. food. So. Yeah. Um, we got a small bag of romaine hearts. Uh, they didn't have the organic at Costco. Yeah. We had this sitting in a bowl of water in the salad spinner in the fridge yeah. this last week. And it was it was there when I put it on some tacos. It was there when I made a salad. So yeah. we're going to set that up this week as well. So we've been getting these uh, Morning Star uh, uh, veggie chicken strips. And they're really good because they're 24 grams of protein per serving. And that's 13 strips, right? Yeah. So I could put this on anything and instantly add 24 grams of protein yep. to it. So these are really versatile. Uh, I'm loving these right here. So we got those at Whole Foods. It was the only, none of the other stores carry the Morning Farm Star brand. So Whole Foods was it. Um, we've got uh, the Greeks, the Kai Kill Greek style yogurt. If you've seen my lunch videos, right? I take these and I put in blueberries, uh, and that goes with like my sandwich. Yeah. And they're hard to find. Yep, when you get this plain unsweetened, you can easily add vanilla. You can easily add some berries um, or the monk fruit sweetener. Yeah. So we got that. And, and hang on, this may seem ridiculous, but you cannot get these. Yeah, and there's two of us. Yeah. Yep. So then we have this as well for some recipes. We're gonna try some dressing with this as well. So Yeah, so uh right, right. So this is the same thing, it's just this comes in the two-third cup already. This you have to yep. make yourself two-thirds of a cup. Yep. Otherwise, it's the same thing. Um <laughs> We are ambassadors for Earth Chimp, but every now and then, right? Actually, it happens more often than not. We're out of Earth Chimp, and we have to order it. And it comes really fast, within two days, but then, like, we don't have protein for a day or two. So we always have a backup of the organ protein. Uh, I don't necessarily like using this because it's more calories, right, for the same amount of protein. It's grainy. It's grainy. And I don't like the aftertaste. It has something else in it, too. What oil. is it? Oil. It's made with oil. So, to us, this isn't a product that we endorse or try to use, but there are times when uh, we don't have any protein mix. We're waiting for Earth Trip, to, Earth, Earth Trip to ship us, or we didn't, you know, we didn't realize we took the last of something or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and, like, there are times when we make protein shakes where I need vanilla because I'm, I'm putting spinach in it, right? And I have a bunch of Earth Chip chocolate. I'm like, uh, I'm out of vanilla, right? Yeah, strawberry. Right. right, so I'll quickly order uh, vanilla online, but I'll use the vanilla here to make my smoothie so I could get my strawberry, my, uh, so I could get my, my greens in. Yep. It was a deal that we couldn't pass up either. Yeah, so. Costco is really cheap on this, so we just, we have it as a backup, right? But really, if Earth Trips in the house, that's what we're using yeah, because for sure. uh, the calories are low and it's, and it's and cleaner. It tastes better. Yeah. All right, so this is the milk we're using now. Uh, the silk, I swear we, we switch milks like every week, but this silk uh, organic soy milk, uh, it is uh, seven grams of protein uh, and only 80 calories. And it doesn't have any oil in it. So not that I'm oil free. I mean, I, I'm just really worried it about calories. Be. It does not, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no oil. But the uh, organic one with soy, that's good. They only had one, so we got one. Yeah, so that's what we're using there. Uh, so we, <laughs> I can't eat this. This is nuts, though. It's all nuts except for it's nut butter with no peanuts, right? It's everything else, and it is delicious. Uh, it's cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flaxseed. Like it just goes on and on. Yeah, this sometimes when I don't want to make PB two, and I'm having an apple, and I want to put some of this on. That's what I'm how I'm eating it. Yeah. I don't eat this because it's 180 calories with yeah. two tablespoons. Where uh, PB2 is 70. Yeah, right. It lasts for months. But so it's okay. there is a huge taste difference. So if you have extra calories, then it's good. When uh, Tim's stepdad comes over, Mike, he loves this. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. What else you got there? We finally found it. Beyond Beef has come out with a new version, and they're using avocado oil instead of canola oil. Um, so anyway, we're gonna try this this week and just see see how it it looks terrible. The texture's but... strange because it isn't even like ground beefy. It just looks like a pate, yeah. right? But we're going to try it. All we're right. just trying it. I love okay, it. We'll go to the next thing. We do have a bunch of like herbs in, in our little washable bags. You can't really see it. Yeah, I think it, we but... wanted to show you 
But taking these to the store, we can separate things. Yeah, so. we just we just put them in. We just put them in here. We got this is scallions and dill, just for recipes that we're doing. Green pepper. Yeah, the, we're gonna make um, we're gonna make chickpea salad this week. We're Parsley, a, a yeah. protein version. We're gonna make uh, the the cashew ranch dressing that we make, and we like to put fresh dill in there for salads. So we have salad fixings all week. So we got a lot of stuff happening there. Uh, Lex loves jerky, so. We, we always buy this vegan jerky for him while we go to the stores. He absolutely loves it. Uh, what else we got here? We've got some chickpea flour. This was the only organic chickpea flour I could find. Like, there just wasn't any. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to come by right now. I need an organic cornstarch for my salt and pepper tofu, so that's what we got there. I don't know what that is. Don't laugh, but uh, here's this little goat went to Tokyo. This was on clearance, and I, I couldn't help myself. I wanted what to try is it. it. It's a sauce. This little goat went to Tokyo. Yeah. All right. Our, little girl went to Tokyo. So I guess there's a Japanese type of sauce, right? Exactly. And it was on clearance. I thought I would try it. Um, so sweet, salty, savory. We're going to have to look at the ingredients of that. All right. Uh, all right. So Lex loves uh, vegan hot dogs. Yes. And this particular brand comes in at 14 grams of protein. Um, it's called Smart or Light Life. Um, this is the one we get for him. And he loves a pretzel bun. So there we are. Uh, yeah. A lot of the bad stuff is actually for Lex. Uh, you've got some uh, plant-based uh, gel jelly here. Uh, we have some some raspberries, so I thought I would put it in this just to try, see what it tastes like. We right? don't have any raspberries. Yeah, no, we don't. No, <laughs> Lex likes uh, to snack on some of the baby bell cheese that's vegan, and here's a baby bell garlic and herb. So we we got this for to try it. This is laughing cow. Laughing cow. Yeah, yeah. Laughing what cow. Was I don't baby bell. I don't know if you know, but laughing cow has plant based cheeses. I didn't know, so I'm holding this right now. Uh, so I had no idea. It's just made of almond milk. So good for him. Yep. The uh, the protein bread that we get, they offer crackers as well on their website, and you can pre order things. So, this is a good find. Uh, we're gonna make uh, New York Super Fudge chunk, right? And in New York Super Fudge chunk, the ice cream, there's white white okay. chocolate. Okay. Trying to find vegan white chocolate is impossible. We found this uh, Evolve brand, Simply White Dairy-Free Chocolate Bar, uh, and it's dairy-free. So it's vegan, and uh, I can now make the New York Super Chunk. Uh, chunk. It was where it's like, fine, all the bar was so stupid, but like, there's no option. For, you know, it, you it's, know? Uh, we're just glad we found it. Yeah. So. so everyone keeps asking of us, have you guys tried meaty, right? There goes that other one. I'll grab it here. Yeah. Meaty products. There is a carne asada style, a uh, breaded chicken, a chicken breast, and a, and, a, and a steak version. Anyway, this was 10% off. I got it. Um, this yeah. is really nice to put on a salad. Yeah. People uh, always ask us in the comments, you guys have you tried meaty? Have you tried meaty? I'm like, yes, we buy it all the time. But yeah. Yeah. So just usually once a week I'll do this. So this is the carne asada steaks, but they're made of mushrooms, right? Mushrooms. Yeah. Yep. Well, there you go. All yep. right. Which we've talked about this as much as I don't like mushrooms, there's so many benefits to it. So if you can get it, you can get it. Right? Absolutely. Uh, we just got some cans of uh, garbanzo beans. You saw that in the, the other part of the video. Ten for ten dollars. Like we can't pass that. Up. I mean, we can make it, but if we're meal prepping, yeah. there's a lot of other things to do. Yeah. What is this? Uh, these are just breaded chicken chickenless patties. Chicken style plant based patty. These are for Lex for uh, chicken sandwiches. That's what he eats. So uh, that's our protein bread. These are a ridiculous price uh, for the uh, for the Primal Bakery protein bread. I think it's like ten dollars a loaf. Yeah, like, it's crazy expensive. It's, it's crazy, but when you're making a sandwich, all of a sudden it adds more protein, more protein and yeah. you can meet your forty protein goal. Um, I was just learned this week that on their website you can pre order. The bread, they have crackers. You get over a certain amount, and I think it's free shipping. So you pre order from Primal Bakery? Correct. And then you can put it in the freezer. Oh. So that's one idea, you guys. If you're in a remote area or you're vacationing this summer yeah. remotely, you can have a bunch of it shipped and then freeze that's it. That's a good so, idea. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Uh, cinnamon horchata flavor vegan protein. I don't know what that is. This All is right. just to take to work for me, but it's a nice flavor change, right? So the strategy with this, why do I just have one? Is to have it at work, so if there's nothing else, I have a, a go-to. It's not ideal, like I'm not gonna do this for every day, because uh, it is coming in at 190 calories, but just one idea. Too much for me. All right, then we got a bunch of apples. I use apples for everything. I put them in salads, we put peanut butter on them, or the PB Fit, so we do that. And then egg replacer, like every vegan has egg replacer. So uh, I've got some sprinkles for the when we make the ice cream. Uh, these uh, sprinkles are made with carnauba wax, not gelatin. So uh, so they don't have any animal products in them. It's hard to find. 
stuff like this that's not made of gelatin. So yeah, this or, is the or, Watkins brand. Yeah, or the colors that are in there yeah. being artificial. So. Uh, so this one works out to where it's vegan. Uh, well, well, sometimes we have a half an orange. Yeah. Well, one sumo orange is about 180 calories. So it's the end of sumo orange. It's April. We'll be lucky if we get two more weeks out of the season before they're gone. So we're in this dash to get whatever's left because after that, they're going to be gone until uh, January of next year. Yeah. In case we need this for a smoothie, green apples are a little bit lower in sugar. Yeah. And then what are more apples? And then I got this because I'm trying a brand out. I just wanted to see what they taste like. So. It's apples, aren't they all the same? They're not. Enough. And then uh, I'm the only one that likes this, but this it's strawberry hibiscus uh, spring water. So it's carbonated. You're already checked out. But sometimes I'll bring this to work just to have something, if I'm in the mood for something with no calories, um, it's delicious. I just drink water. I don't. I just make it easier myself, and I don't. I just don't get involved in any of that stuff. So, all right. Then we have something right there. It looks like is that the walnuts? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Costco walnuts weren't uh, organic, uh, and of course they're a much better deal. Get a huge bag for seven dollars, and this seven dollars bag is much smaller. From Whole Foods, but these are organic, and I just we don't we don't it's, eat non-organic food. So. It's good for for men especially to have some walnuts. Yeah. It, so okay. All right. So a lot of stuff we need to start putting the stuff in the freezer. Uh, this I think this is the first time in almost 300 videos we've ever done a video, and there's dishes in the sink and there's stuff on the counter. Like you know me, like I, I before I do a video, everything's spotless. I clean first. Uh, but, but this shows you part of our process. These glass jars get sanitized. I worry about that. Um, but that's when we fill those with water, they're in the fridge ready for us to go. There's this stuff everywhere. All right, okay. that's our video today. You got to see some of the stores we go to. Uh, we didn't really have a clip of Whole Foods. I don't know why, but I forgot about that. Uh, but this was just kind of this week's haul. We're gonna make recipes with this. Uh, hit that like button, show us some love. Yeah. Click on the subscribe button, you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every uh, Tuesday, and leave a comment below. What are you buying at the store? Did, did you see any of this for the first time? Like, maybe this is new to yeah. some people, right? Yeah, hopefully this inspires uh, some or uh, is interesting. Okay. Recipes coming. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.